Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment to make sure you are muted. And if you are not holding still or moving around a lot, please make sure you turn off your screens. But we'd love to see your smiling faces. I know Cheryl likes to see her, her people she's talking to. And if you do need to get up and leave, please turn off your screens. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our District 1 Club Growth Director, John White. Thank you very much. Welcome everyone to the Speechcraft Workshop hosted by Cheryl Roush. It's a real pleasure to offer you a program from such a high quality individual for something that can benefit all clubs, no matter what the size you may be. Speechcraft has a role in your club. It's my pleasure to introduce the District 1 District Director, Leanne Levine, with some opening comments. Leanne? District Director, Leanne Levine, please. Well, maybe she can join us a little later with some comments. Why don't we get started with the program? She could greet us later on in the, in the session. So, want to attract visitors to your club? Gain new members and re-energize your meetings? Have an idea to launch a new club? Build your membership. This session is ideal for your club, especially if your membership has less than 15 members attending meetings. Considered to be a club's number one membership building tool, Speechcraft is a blended learning program for non-members interested in building their communication skills. Keep your club healthy, by hosting a fast track, four, six, or eight week series during your club meetings to immediately boost membership. Hosting a speech craft is ideal to attract new members to an existing club, conduct a program in the community, train staff in a business organization, and begin forming a new club. In this session, you will discover how to host a series and the benefits to your clubs and members, launch and market an effective speech craft program, and design promotions to attract visitors and convert them into members. The key to success of your programming is marketing, and our presenter knows a few things about marketing. Our presenter is back to District 1 by popular request. Here's why. With over 45 years in graphic design, distinguished Toastmaster, Cheryl Roush has written five books on marketing and has presented over 2,000 full-day seminars internationally on this topic. Add to that, she's a, an active Toastmaster for nearly four decades and is a past district director from San Diego District 5. Professionally, Cheryl is yet the youngest woman to have earned the accredited speaker designation from Toastmasters. A 17-time published author, her Solid Gold Network newsletter design book was created for Toastmasters VP, PR, and VP membership roles. Cheryl is also the author of The Heart of a Toastmaster, which published 135 true stories by our members and received the Best Anthology Award from the International Book Awards. Get ready to learn how to attract visitors and gain new members by marketing a speech craft series. Let's welcome distinguished hostmaster, accredited speaker, Cheryl Roush. Hello, District One and our members from around the globe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to be very active in this conversation in this workshop. So open up your chat box and let's get started. Why did you originally join Toastmasters? I'm going to be watching the chat. Go ahead and light it up for me. Tell me about you. What brought you through our doors? And while you are putting those responses into the chat, I'll tell you a little bit of story about from me. 
we each have our story and how what originally brought us into Toastmasters. So you didn't want to be born because your sister Carol became a better speaker than you were. Yeah, no sibling rivalry there. Uh, to meet new people and to learn how to talk in front of adults. Oh, there you go. Which is even trickier when you're speaking in front of kids to become a better public speaker, upcoming speaking engagements, all of these. I love this. Invited by your father-in-law. What a loving thing to do. My goodness, wanted to be a more eloquent speaker and do TED Talks. There you go. Be more confident in public speaking. I wanted to be a better boss. I own my graphic design studios and John had mentioned that and I was at a Chamber of Commerce Network breakfast. You know how you you stand up and you introduce yourself. Boy, I was horrible. Somehow I got out that I owned a graphic design studio and something, something, who knows what all else that I said. And a woman came over to me later and she started chatting with me and she asked me a question. And I thought how interesting because I didn't know anyone. And she just had a really, a really unique energy about her. And she said, well, what are what is your greatest challenge regarding owning your business? And I said, well, all of my employees, five or six at the time, they were all older than myself. And I wanted to be able to treat them with respect, as well as to give them feedback and input to help serve our clients for their graphic design and printing jobs. And she made a comment after listening to me and asking me a few more questions. And note that everything that we cover in this workshop immediately translates into how to build our membership. She listened to my heart. She heard what my pains were, my challenges. And she said, so you'd like to be a better boss, desired outcome. Yes, I would. You might be interested in attending this eight-week communication skills series. Hmm. And you would learn how to speak better, maybe even introduce yourself with greater confidence. I thought, oh, tell me more. So she invited me to this session, and it was down in Old Town Historic San Diego mm -hmm, at this particular restaurant called the El Fandango. She said, I'll even buy you breakfast. Well, huevos rancheros, mm -mm -mm. Uh, bienvenidos, cumpleaños, Toastmasters. My goodness, yes, huevos rancheros. I knew there was something different about this kind of meeting. When I stepped in the door and there were two professionally dressed women at the door greeting me and there was Mary ready and saving me a seat with hot coffee on that crisp morning. When I walked through those doors, I had no idea that not only would this organization change my life, it would change the trajectory of my life. I walked into a speechcraft program on session number one, and it was March 19th, 1987. So here I sit 38 years later. I firmly believe in this program called Speechcraft and Toastmasters as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for attending here to meet new people, to learn how to talk in front of other people everything. So great to support your sales team. Whatever the reason was that brought you and me to the organization, how are we benefiting from it? And how can we share it with other people? And maybe even Carol will work on speaking to children. <laughs> Let's have some fun with this. All right, so here's your next. Please comment in the chat because we're talking about marketing immediately. All right, so then how would you define marketing? Go ahead and put that into the chat box for me. I'd love seeing what your responses are and how you word it. I love it. All right, so marketing is what? Marketing is what? Because we're going to identify who our two markets are in Toastmasters. And everything that we cover in this, and I've added something from my market like a pro signature series into this for you today regarding marketing communication. And you'll never design a piece ever the same way again, which means you'll never look at a piece ever the same way again and that you'll be wanting to share this with other people. So let's build our membership. Great, thank you. So marketing is getting the word out, thank you. It's letting people know what you have to offer, thank you. Tell to sell, yes, activities to promote the buying or selling of products. It's yes, what do you have to offer? Yes, what's in it for me? Thank Leanne, you've attended this session before. Thank you, Madam Director. All right, so what are our services? Absolutely. The process is attracting our target market to our product or services. 
Shantae, thank you for hosting this session. Last year, it was 11 months ago, almost to the day. So thank you. Good to have you here. All right, so we're attracting the attention of those you want to connect with. All of these answers are absolutely correct. If you have downloaded the handout for this session, at the bottom of page one in the lower left, there's a place to write in what marketing is. So you're going to want to keep a copy of this handout. It's loaded for you. So as I think of what marketing is for us and how it relates to us specifically, it's getting the word out. We are the solution to their problem. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mic drop. It, and it's true. Whatever it is that brought us into this organization and those same reasons of why we would invite someone cordially to attend and come into the Toastmasters experience, whatever desired outcome it is that they want, we can help them achieve that. Think of all the things that you have accomplished that you may have joined for and then how you've gone beyond that. Because when you work this program, the program works. So let's identify immediately our two very different markets. So the very first market are called internal. These are our current members. And we see a lot of that in our Facebook group for the district, we do. And then number two is where we're really going to be focusing, but I'll give you tips on both because external markets are those who are potential members. They may not yet know about us and we cannot continue to be a kept, <laughs> one of the best kept secrets in the world. Here's the core and the magic of how marketing works. Please make a note of this. Match the message to that audience. If it is internal, our conversation with current members is going to be a very different approach, a very different message, if you will, than that to people who do not yet know anything about our organization. We have to match the message. And based on how well we do that, we'll determine the great response of what it is that we do. So Shante, thank you very much. This was the post that was designed for last year's session. Again, internal internal message. Here's another one, also from District 1, from last year, Moments of Truth. Again, an internal message. This is us helping our members and our clubs. Let's go outside then. External, here's one from District 40 in Ohio. So this was an external message using TI branding color and photo and logo, although the fonts are not quite in alignment. We'll talk about branding a little bit too because we are each ambassadors for our brand. And as I just spoke to District 129, nine nations in Southern Africa, they refer to it as being brand right. R-I-G-H-T, I love that. So we're going to be brand right in everything that we produce. So this was an external message inviting people into, and I love this phrase, make a note of that. I love this phrase, introductory meeting. We'll also be discussing in this session, what are the pros and cons of open house versus the higher conversion rate of an introductory meeting, a free event, a free seminar, a free workshop, We'll take a look at that because just changing the words will change the result. All of this comes down to marketing communication. And with our partnership with Rotary, these are external messages, this poster as well as the next. And I love this Roto Tostados. <laughs> it, it, it works. It definitely works. Rotary revealed for Toastmasters. So you'll be seeing a lot of samples in this session. They may have been provided for us by John White. Thank you very much. Or I may have done my own research and pulled it in whether it was submitted or not. All right. So let's talk basic math regarding our club meetings. There are, if we think about this, and I don't think we have, not for a while, probably pre-pandemic, we remembered these numbers. This is time to remind ourselves, refresh and reflect and re-energize of what can we do. Our meetings have 15 roles without any overlap. So that's with three speakers and, and depending on the length of your club meeting, it, it may be two, but that would be that the speaker does not evaluate themselves and does not also count their own odds. We've been there. All right. So then plus one Zoom master, whether it be hybrid or virtual, that's 16. That's 16 people present at a meeting. You with me so far? Stay with me. All right. Because then we also want table topics participants who are also not the major functionaries or the prepared speakers. Mm -hmm. Then we want two visitors per meeting. Wow. And how do you get people there? It's almost biblical. ASK, 
equals G-E-T. So there you go. We need to be asking people. I think we forgot how to invite people to our meetings. Let's bring it back. Let's make it the, the new fad to boost our membership. Plus, we need audience members. All right. So if you're doing the math on this, that's how many? Mm -hmm. 25. Wow. 25 people at a meeting? Yes. Raise your hand if you remember having that many people in the room before pandemic. Exactly. I remember needing to get there early in the parking lot just to get a space and get in and get coffee before the meeting started. Let's bring that back again. So healthy clubs have a healthy membership. What does that mean to us? The magic number is and has always been 20. 20 is called charter strength. So for the whether it's a community club specialty or advanced club, 20. That means that we are healthy and that we are living our mission of our membership. 25 people in a membership is suggested for those employee training programs, so also known as corporate clubs. Only Pat Johnson, past international president, wrote the book on this topic. And instead of referring to a club inside of a corporation, which sounds social and ours is a personal and professional communication and leadership development program, refer to it as an employee training program. 25 is recommended and that the corporation is responsible for maintaining 25 at all times. Wow. More members is more engagement, more feedback. Think back to why you join, because the number one reason why we join Toastmasters, in addition to the other desired outcomes, number one is still true globally for us to gain confidence. The more people that we have in a room, at least 20, it helps boost our confidence. I would not be speaking around the globe today to audiences as large as 5,000 in sports arenas, keynote closing, four days later, another 5,000 people in the same sports arena, had it not been for building up my confidence here in Toastmasters and starting with 20 in a club. And then going outside my club and speaking at other clubs and then area, division, district, the regional levels and going to our big family reunions like in Anaheim and our, we call them international conventions, to stretch outside of our comfort zone. We have two very dynamic, high-performing clubs that if you're not familiar with them, let me introduce them to you. And what I find is unique about both of these, or, or uniquely in common, let's say that, is that both Plain Talkers Toastmasters and Cedar sinai meets at on Tuesdays and they're only one hour apart. So first and third Tuesdays, this is interesting. Pre-pandemic, I always challenged what's the what is the the draw for lunchtime clubs because it's so easy to say, oh, I'm too busy. These clubs are high performers. So in Cedar Sinai MCs, 20 members are on the list. Plain talkers, 13. Right now, district-wide, out of 134 clubs, the average membership per club, and I find that not only in District 1, but also in numerous districts around the globe, that the average membership is 9, someplace between 9 and 10. And with District 1, it hits 8.95 when we did the math on that. So then what are these high-performing clubs doing? Well, they're very friendly in their approach. And Cedar sinai MCs, right there at the top, you have two questions. We're going to be talking about the value of doing that when we talk about marketing communication. So well done, let's applaud. Yay, let's applaud our high-performing team. You're doing it. You've accomplished your Distinguished Club program goals. So when we think about inviting someone to our club meeting and we need to ask to get let's start identifying like what like what mary did for me at the chamber of commerce meeting she asked me what were my greatest challenges they could be the needs problem challenges issues it could be any of these or add to the list when you think about people who really need this program how could their life be transformed when you look at your own life and the transformation you have experienced because of Toastmasters, you want to share that with other people. And the world needs a sense of hope more than ever. 
So now that we've identified our two markets and some of the pains, the desired outcomes, let's take a closer look at how do we market like a pro? How do we communicate with our readers? Because there's three different reading groups in the US that we've identified from the American Library Association. And there are three stages that we need to observe to properly communicate with our readers in order for our marketing to be successful. So here's what I'll do. I'll cover what the three stages are here and I'll help you fill in the blanks. Then I'll let you know when I suggest to take a screenshot of this particular slide. It's not in the handout, all right? So let's take a look. And this comes to us from David Ogilvie in his book and research called Confessions of an Advertising Man. And I have found this to be true regardless of whichever country that I am speaking in. 14 on site or many more virtually. All right, so the very first stage and absolutely critical is relevance. And you and I go through each of these three stages when we are looking at something as well. The question that we're asking and so is our reader is, well, should I read it, file it, toss it, or can I click away? On a website, it's as brief as 2.3 seconds. And you and I don't give it much longer than that on printed pieces, emails, or posters on Facebook. Mm -hmm. The relevant stage answers the question of what's in it for me. So the worst thing that we typically do is we put the Toastmaster logo up at the top of the layout, which we'll look at on the right there, where exactly do these three stages get placed? Because stage one relevance, it's all about them. The time available that they allot for us to prove that relevance is short. It is one to seven seconds. So based on how well that we've helped them establish that, yes, this is about you, then they move with this into stage two, which is now confirmation. The question that the reader is asking is, was I correct? Does it relate to me? And the time available is longer. Now it's up to 90 seconds. And here's why. I just mentioned that there are three reading groups. And here's why. The first reading group accounts for 10 to 15% who may be non-readers, who need to have photographs before and after photos. They're very attracted to that. The second group matches the first at 10 to 15%, but they read everything. Is that you? You read everything? Yeah, because you know, we also fit into the first category where, oh, I can't read this. When we're not sure if junk mail really relates to us or we're looking to trash an email. So confirmation now, the majority of our reading population, 70 to 80%, we're skimmers. We love the bullet points. And if something is printed, we love paper that feels good. Is that you? Mm -hmm. As skimmers, as soon as something relates to us and we have confirmed it, we become avid readers and read everything. So based on We've established relevance. We've helped them confirm, yes, this is for you. Then they move with us seamlessly into stage three, which is action. And the question that the reader is asking here is, okay, okay, what do I do now or what do I do next? The time available is as long as needed based on those three different types of reading groups. All right. So where does this get placed in a layout? Let's say that we have a vertical poster or a flyer that we are distributing. Well, stage one relevance goes in the very top small portion of the layout. This is where I strongly recommend asking one, two, or even three questions that name the pain and hand it back to them lovingly in the form of a question. So it's a minimal area. That's the worst place for an external marketing piece to have our Toastmaster logo. Or the other words, join us for our open house. We'll, we'll go there. All right. Stage two of confirmation now is the majority of the layout because this is the longer body text. This is anything about the club meeting or the event and bullet points and bullet points and the small area at the bottom of the layout. This is the best place for the Toastmaster logo, for the QR code, for the call to action. What we need to do here is to be blatant about, go ahead and take a screenshot, go ahead, that we need to be blatant about what are the instructions that we want them to do next? Do we want them to enroll for the Speechcraft workshop? Do we want them to enroll in the Speechcraft series? What do we want them to do? It And here's the magic of this. Remember, match the message to the audience. This formula translates, whether it's an internal or external message, 
This also applies to everything else that you may want to promote, sell, have a campaign for, market, every, for your own products, your services, your business. If, if you're seeking to be paid for your speaking, your coaching, if you have a book to sell, this all relates. There you go. Mic drop. That might be worth you having popped in on a Saturday morning for this session right there. Next, we're going to take a look at what are some of these things look like then? All right. You got your screenshot? All right, great. All right, so here's an example from District One, Praise Masters. I found this last year when Shantae and I did our program, and I love this, and this has been an example around the globe ever since then. All right, so how does this relate to the three stages? It's a nice layout for one thing. I acknowledge the good use of branding and the fonts and the colors, all of that works, and the Centennial logo. So all of that works. All right, relevance. Relevance over on the far left then is the what's in it for me. Do you want to, and it has bullet points. Now those bullet points could have been check marks instead. So tick marks, because yes, I would want that. And what that little graphic element by changing a bullet point to a tick mark does, it is implies relevance to the reader. As they're browsing it, they look and they go, yep, that relates to me. That relates to me, even though the tick mark may already be in the layout. So join us, join us, let's remove that. And now confirmation, aha, okay, it's Speechcraft, it's a public speaking workshop, eight week intensive course, okay, this is good. Some people refer to Speechcraft as a crash course or fast track. I think those are really good terms as well. Mine was indicated as a an eight week communication skills series. That's that's what brought me in. <clears throat> yep, way back when. All right, so then $70, we will talk about how do you charge for the tuition and how do you convert members with that fee. All right, then so all of that works, all of that works, call to action down at the bottom, that works. The only thing that we need to remember to do all the time now is to add time zones to any of our promotions. All right, and then the final thing that I would do is to flip this photo, and here's why. The photo at the very top has the expressive woman that if she opened her eyes, her eyes would be looking down, which brings our eyes to follow or track what she is looking at, which would bring us into the club environment, or this happens to be a hybrid, you know, with the ring light up there, that it brings us more into the ad. The photo at the bottom, although it's a good photo, we will look at whatever she is looking at because our eyes track her eyes, which takes us off of the layout. There you go. So we just need to flip that. Simple tweak, two changes. Whenever I look at most marketing pieces, the elements are there, just not in their ideal priority of placement. This helps remind us of what goes where and why. So regardless of what it is that we are promoting. From District 100, they were getting ready to launch a new club for tech enthusiasts and professionals and to do what? To build their presentation skills. And there was a very clever control, like you know, negative people would want to control alt delete. But anyway, so here's what I did for a makeover on this. And I only added the questions at the top. I removed two of the four photos that they had because it was too busy. I, we, we need to be able to see something. So do you give presentations for your work? Want to communicate more effectively? Practice in a safe and supportive environment. This, this is a confidence building phrase. Practice in a safe and supportive environment. And since it is about control, I figured, fine, reboot your career. <laughs> yeah, clever. Okay, we can be clever. But that's silly, stupid. Okay, so then all of this worked. And by changing the format of this ad, they immediately went into actually starting and launching the club. All right, so here's one. I just spoke for District 40 a couple of days ago, which is Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia. And again, think through the three stages. Count out loud. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let me have it. Let me have. Oops, no peeking. Okay. So in this, count how many times from the top of the ad to the dateline, how many times there's something about us or our. All right. Join us 
for an open house, blah, blah, blah. Name of the club counts about us. Homecoming, not really sure about that, but the balloons are cute. Still not convinced on coming. Join us at our open house. All right, so now we have redundancy and we have at least four examples that it's all about us. Okay, so the most important thing on here is way down here. Do you get nervous? And it's the smallest thing on there. Oops, we need to go back into the priority of placement. And there's an ideal question to be asking up at the top of the lamp. Take the elements, just shift them around. Okay, now you got a sneak peek. This is what I did for the makeover. All right. Do you get nervous when speaking in public? Now, it's a question that names the pain in the relevance area. Then those bullet points of what the benefits are, are now raised up to the top. I think I added only the line of gain confidence and find your voice. It may have been on the other ad, but all I did was move things around, change the font into our Toastmaster branding font. That one is called Corinthia and made the Zoom information, Toastmaster logo, QR code down at the bottom. Now it is also in brand compliance and in the three stages of communication. All right, now that we have the marketing communication in alignment with our two different markets, pulling it forward, let's jump into the core information here about speech track. We needed to know all of that. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, you, you loving this? Yeah, okay, good, feel free to. Pop me notes in the chat. Thank you. And any questions that you have, we'll be answering the questions in probably about the last 10, 15 minutes. If I haven't answered them already, then we've we've accommodated time to do exactly that in this workshop. All right. So the handout, you got a copy of that. Well, meet our speech craft co-chairs. Yep. Yep. And they are on a cruise right now. But anyway, so we have the married team of Janet and Michael Carmier. So we are thrilled that they are your resource for anything speech craft related for district one for those of you visiting from other districts thank you please check with your club growth director and see who is the main contact regarding speech craft programs and if there isn't one consider volunteering for the role all right so let's take a look at the speech craft in general and what the heck that it is all right speech craft is an integrated program that we can meet in person, have a hybrid experience or completely online. What it means to the club is that, and Speechcraft must be hosted by a club and by a member of that club period. The club purchases from the treasury, the Speechcraft digital bundle, which includes materials and, and access for five, what are called speech crafters. These are non-members who want to experience this crash course, this fast track of communication and leadership inside of a series that the club gets to determine is it four, six or eight weeks. And with those sessions, is it going to be one or two hours? Then you also have the option of hosting it during your regular club meeting, which is my strongest recommendation if you want to build your membership quickly and you can also use Speechcraft as a fundraiser. So the caveat on that though is that any money raised from the Speechcraft, from anything that we do, needs to be applied into educational sessions, all right? So then you have one member who becomes the Speechcraft coordinator who's responsible for all of this and again, this is leadership in action, highly transformative, that whoever is the speech craft coordinator receives credit for the project toward their distinguished Toastmaster. Wow. And you can make money. All right. So we'll take a closer look at this. And Toastmasters has abundant resources to help us with everything. Everything that you need is completely there inside of the bundle. So it is operated through Basecamp, which is similar to Pathways. And I'm going to tell you now, please make a note that Speechcraft and the Basecamp is going to be offline on the TI website from October 9 to October 25, as it is getting an upgrade. So what we encourage you to do is to purchase your Speechcraft digital bundle, purchase one for the $50, hold on to that, that'll come back and I'll finish it, and then purchase it before October 6 or 7, 
download it. Do not, when you purchase it, by the way, two, two really important things. Do not put the start date of your speechcraft, leave it open. Do not put the name of the person who will be the speechcraft coordinator, leave it open because those two things cannot be changed. And you may want to change those two things after you talk over with your club. So I would purchase it October 6th or 7th, get everything, download it, and look at it while TI is doing their upgrade it's called time and task and energy management. So then take a look at that and have your club purchase it. If you need to purchase it yourself, great. Re have the club reimburse you and it could be after you have your program or or directly straight away so all right get you started on that here's what some of this looks like and again we'll come back to how do you charge for this and other options to host a speechcraft series that are not inside of your club hold that thought resource library abundant thank you very much carol for loading up the chat here with all of these resources and the additional documents everything that you need is here I would start with the Speechcraft video that TI has on their YouTube channel. So I would start with that. We have the link going into the chat there too. And item number 493, this is your Speechcraft, your, your overview for the content. And I love how important that this is because notice that these, these eight particular topics in the program, we'll be coming back to that in just a second because each of these is covered during the Speechcraft program. So the question I most often get asked here is, okay, so you have Speechcrafters who are not yet members, potential members, that they pay a tuition and that they participate in the meeting agenda, let's say in the course of a regular club meeting, yes. The question is, what happens with our regular club members? Aha. Thank you for asking. They feel energized by helping and mentoring as guides to the speech crafters during the program. Each of these eight topics could be presented by members of your club in 10 to 15 minute formats. Wow. They love it because this is new for them. It's a great refresh for them. And new members inside the club is fresh energy. Mm. So we'll continue with that. Oh, we're on to page two then. So this is a resource page for you. This is me providing you more information. How, how do you plan, engage? How do you conduct it? How do members benefit? Well, let me point out something right here. So there is a nominal fee which covers the digital materials, which is $50 total. So by five participants, that's $10 a piece. We're good with the math so far? Okay. Ideally, you may charge, well, you may charge maximum up to $120, which by TI policy is two dues period. So six months, six months, that's $120 maximum. So here's what you can do. And this is the magic of converting non-members, speech crafters into members and it worked on me. So I love this strategy. You charge the tuition that would include club dues, pays for their initial six-month membership, and their four, six, or eight-week sessions that they participate to learn everything that what we do, and they get to start participating as a ah, counter, and then they get to be evaluators. And the, by, by the time that they finish an eight-week course, they will have finished one path that then they can and at the completion of the series that they, all the paperwork electronically is finished, that they complete, they can then join and get credit for all of the projects that they've done and that it launches them forward. And people wanna become a part of something that they feel comfortable with. And, and when they come into your club meeting, whether you're a Hollywood and Vine, or if you're at Praise Masters or wherever you are in the district or in the world, that you wanna have family. And that's part of, I think, the magic of Toastmasters is we are one big, beautiful family. All right, so here's one. Thank you very much, Inglewood. 
for this great sample. This is for a community outreach is how I would classify this particular poster. Now I love, and normally I would not recommend saying something like, hey, egoid community. I love this. I think that this was absolutely, and it, and egoid, and I love Big Jack Nichols was part of this this club and in, in this community. Love him, miss him, rest in peace. But he, he made such a profound impact on us. So when I saw Inglewood, I'm like, yes, that is so appropriate for that community. What I would do is change either the Hey Inglewood community line or better yet, the question, are you interested in improving your public speaking and presentation skills into bold italic font instead? Italic fonts creates emphasis. Bold italics creates action. It really gets attention. All right, so it's Speechcraft, great, which by the way, Speechcraft is our signature trademarked product from Toastmasters International. It is always used as one word. So it would be a capital S in upper lowercase or in all capital letters. This is how it is written. It is trademarked, by the way. All right, so this is a four week workshop. I might change workshop to series or workshop series, just to be clear. It's like, okay, fine, but that's just me. All right, then it was promoted. So love that offered in person or virtual. If you read the small print, it has the Wednesdays. I would add the ending time. Again, people need to know what's the commitment. So is it 6.30 to eight o'clock or it, whatever, whatever that that would be. All right, so this looks great, hybrid. Join today and become a, and I would say join or enroll because you do want enrollment. They are looking for RSVP and this goes to our speech craft coordinator. So there it goes directly to Janet, by the way. So meeting location there, it, it, something like this. So here's an option. All right, so far we can have a speech craft series to build our club hosted for six four, six, or eight weeks in our regular club meeting for immediate membership boost. Here's another option where this is held for four weeks in the community. So you might be saying, well, what would be the value in that? Well, it could be community outreach, goodwill and public relations, or as an introduction into Toastmasters. Hmm. Now it's free, which tells me the club is funding that $50. So then for every five people, a new bundle much must be purchased, period. All right. So then now I get the question most often asked, and I love this question. What happens if, okay, so Janet and Michael are hosting this community four-week speech craft workshop. Love it. What happens if they have eight people sign up? Wow. This is great. Okay. So now the most you can have per coordinator is five people. That's the ratio. Eight people. What if we did four and four and two people in the same club got credit for speech craft coordinator toward their distinguished Toastmaster? Mic drop. Yep. That's solid gold. And you can do that. So then, okay, so the club is accommodating it. All right. You could do this. So start thinking about groups that you could do this for. What about a speaker's bureau for a nonprofit or philanthropic organization? You could definitely do that. So again, start thinking outside of the box. Here's a sample flyer as a model for you. And you can take a look at it. And, and again, so down at the bottom, here's a call to action is upon completion of this basic course, which it is, you will have the option to continue your training in the Toastmasters Club at a nominal fee. Aha. So when my club in San Diego at the Mexican restaurant that I believe the tuition at that time was like $50, I, I want to say $50. And it included at that time, it was printed materials, which you have the option to do this with your Speechcraft digital bundle. When you purchase it, you have to be a member of Toastmasters in a club in good standing in order to purchase this product. It is not, a, not available and it is illegal for non-members to be using our trademarked intellectual property such as this. So when I paid my $50, probably about the third week of my eight, 
they said, well, you know, you are really showing great improvement. I hope so. I cried my icebreaker. I had 19 ohs and ums and it was an ugly cry. I had tears flooding down my face. There are members still who will say, yep, they were there and it's absolutely true. So if there's hope for me, there's hope for everybody. So of that, then at week number three, they were saying, you know, when you complete this series, you're welcome to stay because the cost of your tuition includes dues through, and then they named the date. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's how you convert people. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, so here's an actual promotional flyer that I did that I encourage you to copy and, you know, and, and you could, you could probably scan this in, convert my PDF page into a word document. You could toss it into Canva, whatever software program that you're using and to use it. And I modeled this after not only what I had joined on, but also what would be a simple flyer that has all three of the marketing communication stages in it, asking relevance of the questions that name their pain. So let's say that you are hosting a program for the community and you're using a promotional flyer such as this. The questions could be very specific to that particular target audience that you want to attract for your particular speech craft. Idea, small business owners, entrepreneurs, Bible study leaders at church. So if you're hosting your speech craft series outside the club, which you may, tuition or not, depending on what your club finances are, that it could be tailored to, let's say that you have Bible study leaders, that the questions up there then would be specific to them. And then how everything in the course could be tailored to them, again, outside of the organization. But it, And then you could also do something like this inside of a business where you would love to launch a new club. What if, another idea, that you tailored this to upper management? You had it highly customized for those who would be attending. Maybe you, you even do a pre-speechcraft survey with them to find out what are their greatest pains? What keeps them up at night? What about, oh gosh, let's see if, if they want to run effective meetings, if they're, they still need support on running hybrid meetings or online only, how do you engage audiences? How do, how do you <laughs> conduct time effective meetings? You know, the time, task, and energy management of meetings. Golly, I mean, look at our, our structure. So you could tailor this to upper management inside of an organization. And while they are experiencing what Toastmasters is all about, then you softly pitch the idea to them of having their own employee training program inside their business. Notice it's not called a club but an employee training program for communication and leadership. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Well, let's come back to this flyer for a second because I want to point out something I mentioned earlier. So right here, remember all of those eight that it had the content overview? If you're wondering where the material comes from for those educational sessions, it comes from TI. Oh my goodness. It's called the Better Speaker Series Set. So each of these educational pre presentations could be given by a member of that club, which reinvigorates them and makes them step up to the next level because all of these are absolutely prepared. They're fabulous training materials, 10 to 15 minutes and Come back to that in a second. They're free. All right. So frequently asked questions and additional support. So I've included this page for you and I do keep it, you know, I, I keep adding whenever that there are more questions. One of my colleague trainers, I, I love this lady, Ann Golden, and she was at the international convention that she does one of the best speechcraft coordinator trainings I've ever seen. So I asked for her to provide and to update this this wonderful resource of important links. 
that these, and thank you very much, Carol, popping that into the chat. All of these are live links that you can go in and download all of this material, including the TI policy and the protocols regarding this trademark program. So all of that is at your fingertips, including the Pathways Credit, form number 497, you know, how, how do you quick start as a coordinator? Everything is provided for you. So now that we've taken a look at our markets, given some ideas of who could be potential speech crafters, areas where we could host a series, think if you would get your thinking cap on, who needs the skills that this program offers? You know, what are their pains or their challenges? You thinking? Uh huh. When is a convenient time for them to attend? If not at your club, what if one of your other clubs, that's why we're also starting a spreadsheet, keeping track of who is hosting programs, which clubs are going to be hosting them. Because if, if someone's interested, the district outreach of an external message regarding boosting communication skills, when someone is interested, but they're not available for your club, let's get them to another club. All right, so where are they located? If it's a geographic location, if they're outside of LA or inside LA, there you go. And then why would they attend? And then here's the bottom line, will they invest? Will they invest? We have found that if people are not invested somehow financially, that they do not take ownership of that they can easily slip out of accountability. So I'm a firm believer to charge for speech craft because then it is an investment in their personal and professional growth as it, it is for us. And our dues are due in two days. This is September 28th. Our dues, we need to renew before September 28th. And especially, especially now for a lot of reasons, but also because of the, the going offline at TI. All right, so here's an example. I love this one from District 71 in Northern UK and Ireland. So United Kingdom. This is the text that they had posted, it was Jim Finnegan, by the way, who posted this, to find your voice in six weeks with speech crap. Question in the headline, this is great. Again, this was just text, so it doesn't have any highlights or anything on it. And it's a proven hands-on program that provides the how-to and practical experience. All of this, these are, these are, it's great wording, great wording. And you can look at examples on, on, on Facebook, I always use the hashtag speechcraft so that people can easily search and find references. And this is the actual poster that he included with the, the text that you just saw. So choose speechcraft to improve your public speaking skills. You will learn. And then again, and then they had a 60 euros that you could join. And then it has, again, the duration of it with a QR code. So it's perfectly done in branding. Yeah, getting ideas. All right, so then how do we, how do we capture people's attention to bring them in? I suggest having a free event as opposed to an open house, which appears to have a very low conversion rate. If it were called something else, because we're still, you know, open house, we're still thinking, okay, cookies, and you take the tour of the property. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, too much effort. So instead, people get it when it's a free seminar, it's a free workshop, it's a free event, it's an introductory meeting. That would be fourth on the list of the four. All right, so again, you know, let's let's break this down, recap, bring it in of how does this flyer, because I'll also share with you what the results of this flyer were following in these three stages. So stage one, relevance, questions that name the pain, the challenge, the issue, the desired outcome, free seminar, the date, beginning and ending, the location. So my club, this was for my club. And I pitched the idea to my officers and I said, hey, you know, we need to rebuild the club or we're going to be using our charter. And there was a woman who was VP of membership who was an ER nurse. And she said, if we do not resuscitate and give our club an EKG, we will die. And that was her professional opinion. So we, I said, okay, well, Speechcraft is what I know to be the fastest membership building club energizing program that we can possibly do. So then I explained to them how it all works, just like I am with you having this conversation today. And they said, okay, all right, well, let's do it. So then with this flyer, then this was promoting one of my signature programs, Speak Like a Pro, 
where I give a lot of content. There's the benefits and the bullet points of this and the teaser of because our target market were people who worked at that hospital. Ah, you know, keep it simple. Find people where they are and host a program there. We were in-house. So what it was, and then here's the teaser text. Ideal for any level of management, administration, patient care, dot, dot, dot. You get the idea. Bring your friends, supervisors, and coworkers to this program. They did. All right, so bullet points to demonstrate what the benefits are going to be. Information about the speaker because people want to know who is that? Why should I care? Does this relate to me? They want to confirm that it's worth their time. They're worth their time. And then the call to action, desired response, we wanted an RSVP. So I said to the club, and I sure hope that your club also sets goals. And it could be a goal for a month. It could be a goal for a special event such as this. We were sitting in the meeting room, which was very empty with the few of us sitting there. And I said, well, how many... How many people can this room hold? Oh, well, fire code, you know, and the, and the number was posted. I said, that's our goal. And they're like, yeah, I've been here for 50 years. That idea never work. <laughs> yeah. Let's set some lofty goals here. All right. So with this seminar, you used to launch an in-person speech craft that started two weeks later. And I think that's part of the magic here is to have your free event. And then two weeks later, no more than three weeks later, launch your speech craft series. Club provided snacks. There's nothing like free food that brings people in. Mm -hmm. Promoted inside the hospital as well as outside and around the community. Here are the outcomes. Check this out. 65 guests. That means 65 that were not fellow Toastmasters coming to this from other clubs. This means non-Toastmaster guests, first time visitors. We only had 10 club members at that time. Mm -hmm. Do the math here. We filled that room and it, it, there weren't any tables in it other than the food in the back. It was auditorium, chair, chair, chairs. We were packed. 14 people enrolled in the speech craft series that night. Now, those people got really excited. They went back to their coworkers and four or five more enrolled at the series start. So what we encourage them to do, and I'll show you the promotional flyer and Carol's posting it into the chat there for you, that between the free event and the speech craft two weeks later, there was a regular meeting between. We invited them, come next week. If you're not sure, if you want to see how all of this works, come. Come, we'll have a regular meeting. You can see how all this works and better yet, how you will benefit from the experience of doing this. And they did. People showed up for, again, more people enrolled. So what were the results? Thanks for asking. We immediately gained 12 to 14 new members. Immediately, we more than doubled our club size. We went from dead to presidents. And one of our members, it was the final project that he needed to earn his distinguished Toastmaster. Could you do this? Yes, you can. Here is the actual promotional flyer. So feel free to capture a screenshot or download it from the chat. You want to be downloading all of these, all these wonderful documents from inside the chat, by the way. So as I'm presenting that topic, and at one point, and I'm building the benefits into the content of, well, you know, thanks to Toastmasters, I learned how to do this, and, and da, 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 and all of that. And I tell them the story that, yes, because I did, I cried. It was ugly. I think we had a lectern in the room just for the purposes of demonstration, as it was not used by anyone else. Then I had the few of us that were in the room as members to stand starting at the back of the room, walking forward, distributing this flyer. So Toastmaster branding, logo, colors, all of that, and on paper that feels good, mm -hmm, this was distributed to every person in the room that they were printed. This is the promotional flyer that helped with the enrollment process. And again, it does everything that I'm sharing with you are the marketing communication strategies and the pyramid of priority and placement of what gets placed where. You can do this. Everything is here and you have abundant resources. So 
I'm going to open up my chat box here, and I want you to answer this very first question for me. What groups or organizations do you know of that could be served by a speech craft program? All right, so let's get some ideas going here. Ideas that we can all share from each other. There you go. Okay. All right. What are your ideas? All right. Thank you. All right. Craig, thank you for, yep, for your question. And it has been addressed that the email letter indicated, yes, from beginning October 9 to the 25th, it's expected. The outage is expected. So yes, you are correct. Got it. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay. Here's the ideas. John, thanks for joining us. All right. So Rotary, Rotary would love the Speechcraft program. Absolutely. Universities, government, any type of government agencies. Yes. Car dealerships. Yes. Writers Guild. Yes. All political parties. Thank you very much. Scout leaders. Great. Come on. Give it, let's get some more ideas here. Thank you. Chambers of Commerce. Yes. Great. What else? Where else? What groups or organizations? How about speaker bureaus for nonprofit organizations? Who else? Let's see. Small business owners, entrepreneurs. Who else? We even have one. We have an ongoing speech craft program at San Diego State University for MBA students. And there is a waiting list. There are so many that there are four speech crafts going simultaneously that they that there's enough Toastmaster support and district leadership, area directors, division directors who come in to help serve as the guides for those programs. And the speech craft coordinators each receive credit and they rotate ongoing for MBA students at universities. All right, hospitals, thank you. Religious organizations, yes, absolutely. All right, keep the ideas going. Keep the ideas going. Mm -hmm. Great. And think about the organizations of where you are. And then who in your club could be of support? School districts, thank you, Jackie. All right, investment professionals. Yes, anybody who's selling anything. Oh gosh, anybody who needs confidence. Uh, what about SBA and SCORE? It definitely chambers of commerce, definitely who needs their DTM. And when, think about, please take this back to your club, especially since most of our clubs have an average of only nine members. And what number do we need to get at? 20, yes, or higher. So let's think and higher. Let's, let's be more proactive with that. So thank you, 20 or 25, thank you. Tw church, definitely. When could your club host a program? Great. Well, again, there are abundant free resources. So as you're still brainstorming in the chat, thank you, great ideas, thank you. Let's take a quick look at that Better Speaker Series set that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yep, there are 10, 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. There are 10 of these programs that are 10 to 15 minute educational session modules. Well, they're free. You can download them as the zip file. Do that before, well, just do that soon. Anyway, because you could use these topics for that free seminar that you host, whether you pursue it with a, a speech craft program or not, this could be that introductory meeting. You could use this to infuse energy where everybody ask one, be the spark, bring people into your club. This is what the series set, when you download it for free, it's what it includes. It has a PDF version and the PowerPoint slides. And here's what I love, being a professional trainer, I love this, is that it has the speaker's curriculum guide. If you want to level up your own speaking and training abilities, get the set, choose a couple that you give host an online virtual seminar on that particular topic, turn it into a longer workshop to, to really help you improve your own skills. These are the topics that are included in the speech craft agenda. Now, thank you for lighting up the chat even some more with those ideas. We're talking about branding too, because as we are marketeers, 
we are each brand ambassadors and we need to support and be brand right. So here's what has happened over the years. And this was even mentioned if you watch the 100 year documentary video that was just released last week, that there was a point in our history where clubs decided to create their own logos. Well, there's there are still numerous clubs, actually hundreds of them around the world that are using their own club. This is not in brand compliance. It is actually against Toastmasters international policy. So clubs may not have their own logo. If you see one, please have them check out the brand portal because everything is posted right there. On the left, you see examples of, yes, what we can do. And of course, we have the Centennial logos right now too. On the right are some examples, but what you could do is use the Toastmaster globe and have your club name posted underneath it. Now, and use our color palettes. The new color that has been added for the Centennial is black. So I'm a student of color psychology. I love this stuff. So if you want, let's say if you have an internal message where there might be some resistance for people coming, let's call it club officer training, <laughs> then you might want to use the loyal blue with the happy yellow to invigorate because yellow is a color which inspires excitement and feel good feelings. So blue is a color which is one associated with education. And any matter of fact, that's also why you see often that slide backgrounds are blue because it enhances memory and recall. The true maroon falls into like the red kind of category, which is a color that vibrates at a faster vibration, if you will, that it inspires people closer to action. So use them mindfully. Gray, the cool gray, and you want to keep it cool instead of warm. Warm gray is depressing. Cool gray use as a spot color and definitely white is also great. Use photos. You can use any of the Toastmaster, any of our, our designated that models have taken, but I would go ahead and make a note, capture photos of your own people. Use your own people with their permission. You may have them sign the photo and video release from TI, which is readily available, but consider putting your own people in the pictures because people want to imagine, is this what it will look like and keep it very real that they show up. It's like, oh, you're, I, I saw your photo on the flyer. Uh-huh. Then they feel it's like, okay, this is a good thing. You can download, these are our two brand new fonts. So you can download all of our fonts for free from the brand portal. Please be brand compliant. All right, so for instance, let's see, change masters. I would change giving voice to your passion and join us into our Toastmaster font. They are not. Matter of fact, only one of the fonts on here is brand compliant. And we would also change the join us to another call to action. To me, I would call this an internal marketing because there isn't enough to make it external, but it could easily be changed. Now this one, okay. So Sandra Dunning, bless her heart, we had we had lunch at the International Convention. We ended up sitting out on the patio and it was absolutely level, lovely. So I've reached out to Sandy to remind her that this needs to be more brand compliant. But the, the first thing, Make sure to proofread your, your marketing before it goes out because the average readers, like me, we are going to catch the year, the year of 2099. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> so this could just be tweaks. Again, it has the beginnings of TI branding, just coming a little bit more into brand alliance with that. Here's another tip in graphics is never underline text, which means even hyperlinks when they, they does remove the link, remove the hyperlink and just make it what the URL is. Otherwise, that's a it's that goes back about 35 to 40 years where we didn't have italic fonts. That's why we underscored things. So be really mindful about that. Here's one. I love this. Keith Jackson. All right. So this is from last year. 
And as a result, then changing the text. So we invite you to help you. Okay. Make it all reader centered, whether it, whether, and this could have some bullet points on it. So this is what the ad looked like. And what I do acknowledge is that it is brand compliant. The question up at the top, although it's a little bit smaller than what the event is, could be placed in bold italics. And because it's a little text heavy in the confirmation area, perhaps shifting that text into bullet points would make it even easier to preview. But I, I love that sample. So really well done with that. Well, guess what? We have some incentives for you. All right. So, John, if you would please get ready to unmute, I'm going to invite you to talk about a couple of these incentives. And we're going to start with the Be the Spark. Bring at least one guest with you to a club meeting. And Carol, thank you for putting this link into the chat box, because this is our centennial pledge. And we ought to be doing one guest with us for every club meeting, and you may even want to have your own club contest regarding that. All right, so John, if you would please unmute and tell us about this incentives. And no, I'm not for sale in this. This is, the incentive is not me, but I thank you. Go ahead, John. You're not for sale, but you're helping to sell it. So thank you so much. Always lead with your strength. So for those of you who have registered for this workshop, if you host a speech craft series by March 15th, 2025, and you get five new members, you will receive a Canberra for hybrid meetings. We know how important that is. So register March 15th, 2025 and get five new members. We'll accept 10, 15, 20. The sky's the limit. And you do that and you get a camera for hybrid meetings that will enhance your meeting for your club. Thank That's you, amazing. That That is a first ever incentive that I've seen. I, I love it. All right. We also have this medley award. So for five new dual or reinstated members, reinstated means that they took a sabbatical and they want to come back. And by the way, a great marketing way to get people to rejoin the club who have disappeared for a while, have a reunion meeting where you invite each of those previous members. I have seen this happen wonderfully countless times in my own clubs where the reunion meeting, sure enough, they show up and they go, oh, I missed this. I missed you. I need this. Where's the application? Reunion meeting. So you have until September 30th for this. Mm -hmm. And, but wait. There's more. So we have another incentive. Shantae, are you still with us? Would you please unmute and walk us through the club success plan incentive? Shantae? I work closely with Shantae. I've studied under her and I, <laughs> so if Shantae wants me to say that for the first 50 clubs that submit the club success plan, you'll receive a $25 incentive. The first 50 clubs, I've seen them coming in. Act quickly. We are approaching that 50 number. Thank you, Cheryl. That's exciting. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. I love how our team works together and poof, here's our team. All right. So you have abundant support with our district director, our program quality director, our club growth director, and you have District 1, two speech craft co-chairs. I love this. So make sure to reach out to them. Any questions you that you have regarding speech craft, let them know that you are planning. Let them know that you're purchasing the digital bundle before October 6th and that you are not including the speech craft coordinator name nor the start date. Leave those two areas open. Otherwise, you're held to those. Those are the two things that cannot be changed when you purchase the digital bundle. Buy one bundle, plan on five particip participants or more, and you can always purchase more. And let our Speechcraft co-chairs know that you are going to be hosting it. So if you would, now that we've taken a look at our our markets, how to reach them, how to communicate with them, what goes where and why, please indicate in the chat, what's your interest? What is your interest so that John and his team can follow up with you? What's your interest? Who are you thinking? So a number one is that, yes, you want to conduct 
a speech craft in your club and name your club. And if you're from a visiting district, please indicate which district because we're all in this together. Number two, you would put into the chat is that you want to host a speech craft to start a new club. That's really exciting too. And number three, that you would host a speech craft before the end of this calendar year. And number four, that you are currently conducting a program. So with that, we are spot on time. And let's see how we did with questions. So as you are putting your interest into the gallery, I will leave that slide up as we continue our conversation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Mr. Club Growth Director, I'm returning to you. And that we also have Val who has been keeping track of our questions. So back to you. Great, thank you very much. What a wonderful presentation. If we could all unmute and give a round of applause. That was uh -huh. really top-notch information that can we can all benefit from. So my my question to all of you is, what is your level of interest? And please fill out the, those questions. Reach out to our, our co-chairs. I'm going to put my contact information in here as well so you can reach out to me. I want to do this program as quickly as possible so it can benefit your club. Oh, this is great. Thank you. What questions do we have then? I haven't seen any other questions that haven't been answered already. Oh, so I did really well. Okay, see, this is my this is my report card. How well did I anticipate questions? I did okay? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay. We have John Graham interested in uh, number one, wanting to Thank conduct you, speech craft. And Wonderful. Tiffany. Great, from so. Follow the Leader Club, wonderful. So my tip on this was to purchase a digital bundle now before, before October 6th and review it. Then work with your club officers to plan a free event, a free workshop at the very beginning of November. Already have it planned. You can be marketing that already. Get your speakers lined up already. Get that going. And then plan after that special event two weeks later to launch your actual speech craft series. And in, in this busy day and age, I'm going to suggest a six week program, a six week. That way you don't lose people. You include dues in the tuition, again, no more than $120. But if you were to say $70, like Praise Masters has been doing, or 75, that includes the cost of the digital bundle, plus any additional materials and their dues, so the only outside fee that might relate is the new member orientation fee, but maybe you can do the math on that and, and create what your number is. Really sell the value of it. What are the benefits? How are they, How is their life going to be transformed from it? So I would say six weeks could be optimum, yes. Not too short, not too long for busy people. I joined in eight week and I stayed. <laughs> 38 years more. <laughs> okay, so, all right, Charles, thank you. Checking in from Hollywood and Vine. All right, so if you purchased a bundle in 2023 but didn't use it, can you still use the bundle? Here's what I would recommend, Charles. Go back in, log in. You still have that number of the product that you purchased. They TI will be able to search it from that to see if you can still use it. If, my understanding, is if the start date was not entered, nor the coordinator's name entered, you, there's a very good chance that you could still use it. It may be updated because it would be digital. That would be on your on in your favor. So I I would do a little bit more searching on that. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, Lakewood's checking in. Great. Parliamentarian Toastmasters, Cybermasters, thank you. Northrop Grumman, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Other questions? How about some comments then? How about some comments? Feel free to unmute. Let's do that. Zoom Masters, let's allow unmute. Jackie, we would love to hear from you. Jackie Williams Jones, hello. Hello, how are you? Wonderful. 
I thought this was great. It's a really, it's a great program and you explained it so, so easily. And <laughs> I am thinking about a few things that I can do. I am uh, the club extension chair. So I am here to support John and to learn more about SpeechCraft. Oh, there you go. Well, this would be, I would say, probably the first thing that you promote okay. in new in clubs and club extension, as well as supporting our under charter strength clubs that have great potential. <laughs> Thank we you. We will be working on this starting yesterday. I love it. Great answer, Jackie. Thank you. Okay. Who else? Cheryl? I, yes. I have a question, if I may ask. This is Leanne Levine, um, the district director. And yes. Um. So my home club is uh, Professional Women Toastmasters. PWT. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Um. The only thing that uh, it's sorry. I apologize. I am not. On camera. Oh, okay. there you are. Hi. Yeah, there we go. There. We go. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Sorry for not being on camera. Um, Glad you're here. Our our logo, our club logo is uh very much uh, not brand compliant. And we have a uh club color. It's that's purple in 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 honoring uh Pat Al Pat Allison. Pat Allison. Mm -hmm. yes. I knew her well. And Lydia Boyd and Roberta mm -hmm. Perry. Right, oh right. yes. Oh so, yes. So how would that impact our if if we were ever to consider, uh, um, you know, speech craft program? Okay, well, let's go to your club logo for a second. So PWT may not have their own club logo. Period. You may have an image that is sprinkled throughout branding where maybe there's a streak of purple, huh. it, okay, you, you could, there are ways around it. However, you're a district director <laughs> and all of us are ambassadors. And this was changed back in 2011, you know, and, and good reason for it. You would still, you would still promote speech craft. And if you wanted to attract more professional women to PWT through a speech craft, you could certainly promote it that way. You could even have photos of the women wearing purple and put that in a photograph without breaking brand. I like that. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, there, I there are there are ways. You know, clubs and districts may not have logos. Period. Yeah. Anything <laughs> Period. is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Yeah. Find ways to use minimal purple and still keep the spirit alive. Find ways to do it properly. Okay. Thank Good you. Good question. I look forward to seeing what you do too. Tell everybody I said hi. Well, do. Cheryl John Graham has his hand up. Let me find you, John. Okay, let's spotlight John if we could. The masters, thanks. Hi, John. Welcome. Glad you're here. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for having. Thank us. you for being the. Yeah, you're Great the very first person who. Thank you. You committed to hosting a program. Thank you very much. Well, I'm I'm looking at trying to do that for two clubs. I think it's a good idea, and I, I really like really like your presentation. I missed the first part. I hope I can get it on Zoom later. So we are recording. Um, yes. Okay, my question, main question is in terms of logos and branding, what if you have two organizations you have to adhere to branding requirements for? May I have a specific? Are we talking Rotary and Toastmasters or yes, something else? I can, I, can, uh, I can put a specific up in my background if you want, and I'll show you. There, sure, there's thank really you. only one logo that's approved, this one. Okay, then that wow. is the one to use, period, because our partnership with Rotary is the only one of its kind. We do not partner with other organizations. This one is our only exception for an official partnership. So okay. that is correct. So okay. you may use that, you may use that in your marketing materials. We can't, what we can't do is create um, uh, a separate logo beyond that's, that's specific to the club. No. And there, there's a problem with underneath the, um, the rotary logo, the Rotary wants us 
put the district number. I don't see any issue with that. Okay, all right. So then that would be okay. I, I don't I don't if, see if any get... issue with that. Otherwise, I don't I don't see an issue with that. Now you could submit that question to the trademarks department at World Headquarters and and that's easily available. You can find it from the Toastmaster. It's in the brand portal. I want to say it's trademarks at toastmasters.org. And run that by them, because I bet yours is not the first question regarding rotary districts being posted. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank it's you. It's a good I question. That, oh, you're that welcome. Gives me, that gives me a, an action item and two couple of action items. I appreciate very much your presentation. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because what we cannot do is to put two logos side by side, like the rotary wheel and the Toastmaster globe. They cannot be side by side, which is why they went with the word mark for this one, because that's also indicated in the brand portal. So they cannot be side by side. They cannot be superimposed either. If they were separated, if they were, one logo would go in the upper left, the other in the upper right, not too close together. And the brand portal also gives what's the specifications for where they are placed. If this is an external message, those logos would be best placed at the bottom in the stage three area of the call to action anyway. What I'm told is we can't separate them. We kind of have to use them exactly as it is. Then there yeah, you that, go. That's yeah. mandated. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's so. that's mandated. Okay. So you could still use that in the call to action stage three area, combined as they are with your call to action text in bold italics just above those logos. You could do that. So we could put a call to action above the logo mm -hmm. that, and, and that would not violate branding. No. Okay, and that but because that would have text. to use that would have to use Toastmaster fonts. Recommended, strongly recommended, which okay. would be fine with you know. There's there's so much to choose from. So for instance, it could be it could be Corinthia, you know the 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 script that you've been seeing in here as a call to action because it looks like handwriting. I've spoken numerous times for Rotary and I'm, I'm listed on one of the speaker bureaus, you know, from San Diego, one of the district speakers bureaus. I don't see any issue with that. However, double check, double check, because whatever it is that you do, John, other people are going to emulate and you want to have it correct. And is that Shantae who would approve that now or who would approve that? No, that would go to world headquarters. World, so, so the address you gave me, um, trademarked at tm.org. You know, I, I, the... I believe that that's what it is. Okay. Double check. It's in the brand portal. I believe, Carol, you put that you put that link earlier in the chat, I believe, for the brand portal. So it's in there. And it says, if you have a question about trademarks, boom. So okay. it's there. Save right. the well, chat. Thank, thank Save you very much. Chat. You're very well. Oh, thank you. It's branded toastmasters.org. Craig, thank you very much for that. Okay. So Craig just posted it in the chat. Thank you brand at toastmasters.org. Thanks, Carol. Okay. Perfect. And there's been a couple of questions just related to where we're gonna post the video. Mm. Well, I love to keep things up on my YouTube channel, but we also have one for the district. So it would go into both places on that. And feel free to look at my YouTube channel. I think Carol posted a I think did we post a, a link in there for anything regarding marketing, speech craft, and accredited speakers, which by the way, District One is due for another accredited speaker. Da -da, da -da, da -da, accredited speaker. Da -da. You're due for another accredited speaker. So come on, use your professional voice. All right. Thank you, Craig. You just pointed, posted that too. Boy, you are hired. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I'm always there with you, Cheryl. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Good. All right, make sure to save the chat. It is loaded from this workshop. All right. So I believe that it gives us two minutes. So if our program quality, or let's see, our, our club growth director, John, so if you would like to bring us back or Madam District Director. Thank you very much for hosting this session. It's it's always a pleasure to present for you. And I feel, and I even turned on my palm tree for you. You know, even though I'm in New York now, I'm San Diego born and raised. So it's, it's great to be here with you. Cheryl, would you mind uh, stopping sharing?
be happy to. Thank Good you. job. Okay. Great. Well, thank you very much, Cheryl. I want to recognize that the trio is here. So District Director Leanne Levine, if you'd like to say a few words. Hey, um, everyone, my fellow Toastmasters, thank you so much um, again for taking the time out of your, um, you know, this um, Saturday, beautiful Saturday morning for being here. And uh, I um, thank you, especially Cheryl for all your the sage advice that you you've shared in the last um, 90 minutes with all of this <laughs> believe me we will all put it into good use thank, thank you. you wonderful and it's our program quality director here or is she left i think perhaps she's not here well cheryl i wanted to offer our thanks and we've all read the love languages, and I understand your love language is words of affirmation. So I just want to let you know it was a wonderful, powerful, informative workshop that can benefit all of us. But wait, I understand you're bilingual. Not only do you like words of affirmation, you like gifts of sweet thing. Yes, it's a sixth love language. Cheryl, I'd like to offer you oh. some... Sweet things right here. You ready to receive it? Oh my you gosh. Oh, look how that oh happened. Oh my gosh. What, what oh have you done? Gosh. Oh, it seems candy. It seems candy. Oh my gosh. John, what a sweet surprise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, I love me some C's. It, it's a big thing that I miss from not being in San Diego and it is the world's finest. I thank you. Thank you very much. It, thank it's, you. It's our pleasure. And you are the world's finest and it comes from the district family trio and the team you've always invested in and supported us. And so now mm -hmm. it's our job to take what we've learned and take it into our clubs boldly. Mm -hmm. We have the boldly. tools. It's clear. There's steps, there's marketing, there's a science to this and there's layers to it. And Cheryl's laid it out. So it's right here before us. Let's let's get the package, the electronic package, and let's go promote this throughout the district. In existing clubs and for new clubs, you can benefit no matter where your situation, your location, online, in person, no matter where you are in your DCP goals. So that's where we are. If you could all unmute and just offer your thanks uh -huh. to a wonderful presentation of a beautiful woman who's given her time to benefit District 1. Thank you so much, Cheryl. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you, my Toastmaster family. Thank you.